Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, let us understand logic gates. What is a logic gate? Logic gate is a device that acts as a building block for constructing any digital circuits. Let us understand the classification of these logic gates. Logic gates can be classified as basic gates, universal gates and other gates. Which are basic gates? NOT gate, AND gate, OR gate are called basic gates. And NAND gate, NOR gate are universal gates. XOR gate, XNOR gate are other gates. Why this NOT gate, AND gate and OR gate are called basic means? Using these three gates, we can construct any digital circuit. By using a Boolean function, we can realize any circuit by using NOT gate, AND gate and OR gate. That's why they are called basic gates. Why NAND gate and NOR gate are called universal? By using only NAND gates, we can construct any digital circuit. Or by using only NOR gates, we can implement any Boolean function. That's why these two are called universal. While implementing using universal gates, no other gates are required. And the other two gates are XOR gate and XNOR gate. These two are called derived gates. Why they are called derived gate means these two gates are derived from OR gates. Before going to the NOT gate, let us understand buffer first. Buffer is a device. It will pass the input as it is at the output without changing any functionality. So buffer will be represented with a triangle. Here you can observe in the truth table, if the input is zero, output will be zero. Buffer gate is a gate which is passing the logic as it is. When the switch is one, you can see here the bulb is glowing. Means it will make the circuit or make the complete path in the circuit when the switch is one. It will making the bulb to glow. That is what when the input is one, output will be one. When input is zero, means switch is zero, bulb will be off. This is called a buffer circuit. What is NOT gate? NOT gate is a device which is represented with a triangle symbol and at the output will be having a bubble. If A is my input, A bar is the output. Means it is inverting my input and output will be the complementary output we are going to get. If A is equal to zero, I am going to get one. If A is equal to one, we are going to get zero at the output. Here you can observe in the switch diagram, even if the switch is 1, because of the inverter I am inserting before a bulb, bulb is not glowing. And when the switch is off, because of the inverter, it is making the bulb to turn on. That is the functionality of the inverter. When there is an input 1, output will be 0. When there is an input 0, output will be 1. And then AND gate. AND gate is a gate having two inputs. It is also called as a basic gate. The two inputs are AB here and this is the symbol of the AND gate and the AND gate will be performing a function of a product A dot B. Because of the two inputs in the truth table I will be having four different combination of input values. For 0 0 AND gate output will be 0. For 0 1 also output is 0. For 1 0 input output will be 0. AND gate is producing the output 1 only when both the cases of inputs are true. Here we can represent this with a switch diagram where the two switches are connected in series. Both the switches should be turned on then only it is making the circuit and turning on the bulb. This turning on the bulb indicating logic 1 that is the true case and switches are indicating the inputs where 1 and 1 are represented with the switch on condition. This is what AND gate is. Then R gate. R gate is also a two input gate. We can also have multiple inputs, but minimum of inputs required for AND gate, R gate are two inputs. And here also A and B are the inputs and A plus B is the functionality R gate is going to provide. These are the different cases of inputs available and R gate output will be zero when the two out inputs are zero zero. As the name itself says R gate any one of the input is 1, A is 1 or B is 1, output will be 1. When A is 1, B is also 1, output is also 1. This is what the R gate is. With the switch diagram, we can represent this by connecting the two switches in parallel circuit. When both the switches are on, bulb will be on. If one of the switch is on, it is making the circuit and bulb will be on. R gate is going to perform a logical function and we are going to represent that with plus symbol. Next one is NAND gate. NAND gate is exactly complementary of AND gate. Whatever the AND gate functionality we have understood, exactly reverse to that NAND gate is going to function. That's why 
the output is a dot b whole bar and in the symbol we will be having a bubble at the output of a AND gate. This represents a NAND gate. And output of the NAND gate will be 0 when both the inputs are true. And in the other cases output will be 1. It is NOT of AND we can say. We can put one AND gate and at the output we can put one NOT gate to represent a NAND gate using basic gates. Next one is NOR gate. NOR gate is a NOT of R. That's why for the R gate symbol we will be having a bubble at the end. We can represent this gate with the expression A plus B whole bar. If you look at the truth table here, it is exactly reversed to R gate. R gate is going to provide the output 1, 1, 1 here. But in the NAR gate, you can see the output is 1 when both the inputs are zeros. And this NAR gate is also called as an universal gate. Even the NAND gate is called universal. And this NAR gate can be represented with the basic gates like this. A R gate at the output will be having one NOT gate that gives the NOR gate functionality. And XR gate. XR gate is an exclusive R gate. It is also called as derived gate. Why? Because it is derived from the R functionality. The only difference between the R gate and the XR gate is that the XR gate is going to provide the output 1 only when the inputs are exclusively 1. Means out of these two inputs only one of the input is 1 then only the XR gate output will be 1. How we are going to write the expression for this XR gate? Let us understand. We need to look at the output in the truth table here. Whenever the output is 1, we can take the case as the true case and we are going to write the expression for that. In the first case of output is 1, because of 0, A is 0 and B is 1, the output is generated. That's why I am taking this 0 as A bar, 1 as B as it is. In this case also, the output is 1 because of 1, 0. 1 is taken as A and 0 is taken as B bar. That's why by combining these two, A bar B plus A B bar is the expression. And also we can write this XR gate expression as A plus of B. Similarly, we have XNOR gate. It is complementary to XR gate what we have seen. At the XR gate output, we will be having a bubble that indicating XNOR gate. The truth table of XNOR gate is exactly reversed to XR gate. When 0, 0 and 1, 1 inputs, here the output is goes high. And we can represent this with a complement to an XR gate expression. A plus of B is XR gate. If you put one complement, it becomes an XNOR gate. Here how to write the expression. Whenever the output is 1, I am going to write the expression by looking at the inputs. Because of this 1, I am writing 0, 0 as A bar and B bar. And here the 1 is generated because of these two ones. So let me take it as A and B. And combining these two, A bar B bar plus AB is the expression for XNOR gates. This is what the logic gates are. Different logic gates we have understood in this video. Thank you.